Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Matt Criscuolo coming to you up close and personal. That's me right there, man. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to do a reaction to, an, a, 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 I think it's Rosagar Garib. Uh, it's Alireza Gorbani. And this was requested by uh, Kambiz Rakshan Meyer. I don't know if I'm saying the name right. Probably not. But, uh, you know, here we go again with some uh, Iranian, Persian, you know, stuff. It's just I'm being exposed to music that's knocking my socks off. If you looked at my feet right now, I don't, I'm not even wearing socks. They got knocked right off. Anyway, let's get right to this. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, please. And give me a like, you know, hit that bell icon so that when I release other videos like this, you'll be made aware of it. And you can say, hey, let me go check out what Matt's doing. Maybe you'll like it. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, uh, this is, um, and uh, well, let's get right to this, shall we? Enough of my blabbing. Blabbermouth. Iranian music, huh? Pfft, awesome. Awesome. Wow. Dude's playing a... Dude's playing what looks like a pot. Like a ceramic pot. Well, I know that's the tar. I just did a reaction to to another uh, Iranian uh, uh, group, and the dude was playing the tar, and it was just unbelievable. Um, yeah. <laughs> That little boom, 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 boom. You know, it's got, got a little dramatic thing going on there. Kind of reminds me of a little bit of the music that Ennio Morricone would write for those spaghetti westerns, you know, where underneath it he'd have a little bit of that, like a little bit of a droning, not droning, but a little bit of a repetitive motif like that, which kind of, you know, made it a little bit, uh, a little tense. But this is mystical intense to me at the same time. I'm getting that. I'm picking that up. Oh, oh, oh. 
Yeah, man. The, I wish I could. Sometimes I, you know, I do listen to the music sonically and tonally. I, I don't know what the what this gentleman is saying, but I'm picking up on the feeling. I'm picking up on the vibe, and you could hear the the profundity in it. You could hear that there's that, that there's a certain feeling uh, that's there. There's something profound. I'm assuming it's something spiritual, maybe something that has to do either do with God or it's a love song. Um, coming from Iran, uh, you know, and I, it could be one or the other, you know, but but definitely really cool, really cool. <laughs> You know the sound is rough. It's not, you know, directly recorded. We're picking up the sound from the cameras and, you know, whatever sound. But the guy's got a voice that's pretty darn big. I have a feeling he's filling up that room pretty well, despite the way it's recorded. Because I could hear it. It just sounds, you know, like indirect, but it's big. Sure. You know, it's a nice size um, concert hall. It's not like huge, 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 but it's intimate. I've, I've seen a lot of concerts in those kinds of uh, size um, rooms, and they're great. Uh, and I really think that the stage is very clever, interesting. I, I don't know if it's the best way to set up for, you know, for a band as far as uh, the communication between the band members. There seems to be, a, you know, a distance that's between them which may not lend itself to a certain intimacy between the musicians, 
but it's definitely clever and artistic and probably a non-issue but you know it just uh i can appreciate it i can appreciate the artistic uh, uh create creative ideas there <laughs> Wow, nice place. It almost reminds me of that song by Queen. You know? <laughs> anyway, listen, that was really thrilling. I'm, get, I'm going on a wonderful carpet ride here, pun intended, when it comes to the Iranian music. And boy, I wish I knew the language. But I, I, I wish I knew the language because a lot of people are saying, "Boy, you know, with the if you only knew the language, you'd understand how deep it is, especially with the Persian stuff." But uh, I'm afraid I'm going to miss out on that because um, I can get by in Norwegian, Portuguese, Spanish, Italian, and English, and that's it. Uh, Norwegian, Spanish, Portuguese, Italian, and English. You know, but I cannot do um, Persian, Iranian, all that. I can't. It's just, I can't even. Man, I'm, I'm hard. I'm, I haven't learned much of at all of Russian, and I'm married to a woman for five years, a Russian woman. So I got to get my act together, man. Anyway, hey, look, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. And you take it easy. And if it's real easy, take it twice. Oh.